Haas, what's the story here? Well, like you said, a huge scandal in Brazil, months of digging by investigators. Now, a testimony alleging the involvement of two Singapore shipbuilders. We're talking Capel and Jurong. It's not just them, though, Yvonne. It involves a group of companies, including Petrobras, the Brazilian oil giant, also set Brazil, a company started by a group of Brazilian banks. Now, it is a bribes for contracts allegation. It started with a former Seat Brazil director. He admitted wrongdoing, said he accepted payments totaling almost $100 million from parties, including shipyards, to secure work with Seat and that's to build 21 deep water drilling vessels, each one costing $800 million, Yvonne. So has any response from the Singapore shipbuilders yet? Well, Keppel and Jurong have denied the allegations. They submitted statements to the Singapore Exchange refuting them. They said their policies and contracts prohibit bribery. Uh, I want to show you the shares. They've been declining in the past year. Take a look at this. Keppel down about 20%. Semcorp, which is the parent of Jurong, down almost 30%. Now, to be sure... This scandal goes even deeper. Testimonies talked about a consortium involving Kawasaki Heavy Industries, also its Brazilian partners, who've been detained by police as part of investigations. It's the first time international investors have been linked to the Petrobras scandal. Brazil pretty much transfixed. It's believed political parties help put favored candidates to positions within Petrobras. They charge bribes for contracts and part of the proceeds went to finance campaigns. So Yvonne sounds like a very intricate web.